Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I welcome you again to 10 minutes with God at this time in Jesus' name. As I come together into the presence of God, God is going to speak to you and is going to speak to me too in the name of Jesus. At this point in time, we are looking at the effects of lack of rain. The effects of lack of rain. And when we know the effect of lack of rain, that can be able to guide us to know how to navigate our lives. When I'm looking at this lesson, I'm not just looking at the physical effects, I'm also looking at the spiritual effects, the spiritual effects of a lack of rain. So there are physical effects, there are also spiritual effects of a lack of rain, and that is what we are going to look at in the message today. Let us pray. Almighty Father, we thank you for this time again. Come into your presence. Breathe upon the world and speak to us in Jesus' name. It is written, The letter killeth, but the spirit giveth life. Let the spirit give us life at this time in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, I pray. I welcome you back to this message on the spiritual effects of lack of rain. In 1 Kings chapter 8 from verse 35 to 36, Solomon made a prayer there to God and he said, when there is a famine in the land, sorry, verse 35, he said, when the heavens are shut up and there is no rain, because they have sinned against you, you can see there, that a time may come that there will be no rain. Now, if there is no rain, why? He then said, the people now pray that there should be rain. Why are they going to pray that there should be rain? Because the lack of rain has effects on their life. And that is why we are looking at the spiritual effects of a lack of rain. Immediate impact of a lack of rain includes the following. In the physical sense, in the natural sense, number one is visible dry vegetation. There's going to be visible and dry vegetation. Number two is lower water levels. Where water levels have been higher before, at this time when there's no rain, there's the water level is going to be low. Then the number three is that um, water levels in lakes, in reservoirs, in rivers, in oceans, the level will go low. That's, those are the immediate impacts of a lack of rain. Then the long-term impact of a lack of rain is large land subsidence. The land will begin to give up because rain has not been falling on the land. Then seawater intrusion will also be happening when there's a lack of rain for a long time and damage to ecosystems. The ecosystems will be damaged. And talking about the ecosystems being damaged, man that relies on rainwater for his food, for plants to grow when there's no rain, and the plants will not be able to grow and there will be hunger, there will be farming. Most farming that are caused in the Bible, they are caused by a lack of rain. When there is no rain, no way for plants to grow, and no way for the people to grow their food that they will eat. So anytime there is no rain, people should be preparing for farming. That is in the scriptures. And we've seen other ways that the lack of rain affects man. Even water to drink may not be available when there is no rain. And I pray that we shall have rain in our lives in Jesus' name. God will give us rain. We shall not be without rain in the name of Jesus. But God himself, in his infinite mercy, 
will give us rain on every side in Jesus' name. These are the physical effects of a lack of rain. We can also take it to the spiritual angle. When there is a lack of rain, the spiritual food begins to be difficult to get. Talking about lack of rain in the spiritual sense, we are talking about what we need to grow our spiritual food. What we need to, to be able to have our spiritual drink. What people around us need in the spiritual sense to be able to have a good life in the spiritual sense. So, when there's a lack of rain spiritually, people behave anyhow. The task for God will be lacking. There will be decay in the moral sense. There will be moral decadence. There will be moral decadence. There are people that are moral in this life and they are not spiritual. That is another factor. Uh, factor. But the people of God are spiritual and they are moral. They are morally upright. But there are some people, they are morally upright, but they don't know God. Their own lifestyle is just morality. And that is why Jesus told his, his people that are following him that except the righteousness exceed the righteousness of the scribes and Pharisees. The scribes and Pharisees, they are morally right, just morally right, but they have no linkage with God. That's why Jesus is saying, have linkage with me so that you also have good moral lives and you show moral examples. That was why he said, our righteousness will exceed the righteousness of the scribes and Pharisees. The scribes and Pharisees only show the outward appearance. He said, you show the inward and also show the outward. If the scribes and Pharisees are coming early to work, you beat them by coming earlier. If the scribes and Pharisees are the last to leave the office, you have to beat them by being the last. If the scribes and Pharisees are greeting people once a day, you go ahead and greet people two times in a day. At the same rate, have connection with God, divine connection, spiritual connection. Spiritual effects of lack of rain. People will not want to, want to call upon God again. They will be eating chaff, eating what they ought not to eat because when there is drought in the physical sense, when there is lack of rain in the physical sense, people will be eating what they don't used to eat. Whether good or bad, they just want to feel the stomach. You will not be hungry spiritually and you will not be hungry physically in the name of Jesus. Solomon said, even when the hunger comes, spiritual hunger, physical hunger, because of a lack of rain, whether spiritual rain or physical rain, he said, God, when they call upon you, answer them and do what they want to do. He directed it back to God. That is why God ruled in the affairs of men, the most high. He reigned it and moved it in the affairs of men. We will continue on this matter of rain in the next video because 10 minutes, I don't want to miss it. Let's go to God in prayer and say, Lord, give us more understanding of these issues of rain, both for our physical life and for our spiritual life in Jesus' name. Open your mouth and begin to pray and say, Lord, give us understanding. You that are barren and you are listening to me, God said it's going to rain will fall in your house. He will pour his rain of children into your house. You will become a mother of children. You will become a father of children. In the name of Jesus, you will become a mother of children, a father of children. In the name of Jesus, the Lord said he's going to do it. 
Go and mark down this time. In one year's time, you'll be carrying your baby. Go and copulate with your husband. And do that and do that over and over. In one year's time, you will carry your baby. In the name of Jesus. Amen. God bless you. I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.